Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys and it's something that I flew all the way to Los Angeles, California to film for you and that is a kind of behind the scenes tour of I Am The Night where it was filmed and I also got to see some of the most famous locations surrounding the Black Dahlia case. As many of you know I have been partnering with TNT on a series of a couple videos now on old Hollywood crimes and have been promoting their show I Am The Night with Chris Pine and India Isley. The show is based on the Black Dahlia murder and one of the suspects in the Black Dahlia murder is a man named George Hodel who is a very strange doctor who lived in this really bizarre house called the Soudan House in Los Angeles. It was originally owned by John Soudan and he bought it from him. This guy used to throw these crazy parties and the show is really based on his connection to it. And so there was a party at the Soudan House, at the real Soudan House, which was kind of creepy, that was all themed like how a George Hodel party would be. Now that will be towards the end of the video. Basically, if you're not familiar with the Black Dahlia or Elizabeth Short, um, or Beth, she actually preferred to be called Beth. She was a girl who had come to California really, really young, kind of had hopes of being a star, but ended up kind of freeloading off of a bunch of different people, you know, having what is today called a sugar daddy. And it kind of got her into a lot of trouble with a, a bunch of different men that are possible suspects in this case. This is her landlord, you guys. And Beth would come here frequently. Uh, Beth would come here and you know she would not have the money she roomed here with three other women as many as seven women would share a room can you imagine wow. seven women sharing a room elizabeth short was last seen at this hotel it's called the biltmore it was absolutely gorgeous to be in there but had a really eerie feeling to it it had like a cold energy to me in there this is where she was last seen making a phone call on the payphone on the day that elizabeth short was found she was found on a patch of grass and this is actually a bunch of people's lawns now i couldn't believe it we drove right past it i don't know if i could ever live in a house like that though that would really creep me out knowing that that scene was there because if you're not familiar with the Black Dahlia case I'm not going to post a picture of her body but I will post a photo that I've learned now was actually photoshopped I always thought they threw a blanket on her but she was cut up in all different ways and her body was completely mutilated very brutal death and the case has been unsolved ever since and when I got to the Souten house in LA I got to give you guys a little behind the scenes tour of it I am in front of the Souten house which is a famous house in Los Angeles and I'm so excited because right now I have the opportunity to take you guys through the house to check it out for yourself check out the entrance to this some people say that this is supposed to be Mayan themed, other people think it's based off of a shark's mouth. I'm getting kind of the Mayan vibe, I don't know, but it's a very, very unique house and you'll see why. So let's go. So here's what's really creepy about this house. There's a lot of rumors that there are dead bodies buried on somewhere in this house, <laughs> somewhere in the land. And we're not sure, there have been claims that cadaver dogs did smell bodies, but they never actually did find anything. Okay. People are coming. One of the things that George Hodel was known for was throwing really lavish parties. And so they've kind of set up what one of his parties will look like. So this was George Hodel's bathroom and it's pretty damn lit, I must say. If I had a bathtub like this, I would do some hella lot of bath bombs in here. George Hodel is also accused of having other bodies here on the premises. Now, we're not sure if it's true, but there were claims that cadaver dogs came in and smelled bodies, but they never did any excavations. So who knows what type of haunted energy is in this house? And I'm telling you, just by being here, I feel it's a little, it's a little creepy. So this is the costume for George Hodel. This 
some stories don't want to be told, which is very true. A photo booth? This we have a, I just call it a photo Phone booth. booth. Here we have the phone booth. So I'm gonna come back here in a few hours for the party and I'm really excited to see what it's like. Dr. George Hodel, please welcome Jefferson Mays. Um, next up, the sensational, the gorgeous India Isley as Fauna Hodel. And next up, please welcome series executive producer and star, and also gorgeous, Mr. Chris Pine. And last but not least, make some much deserved noise for executive producer and director, the incomparable Patty Jenkins. And such a gentleman, he's standing waiting till she gets on the stage. Oh gosh. Hi, Patty. Hi. Chris, hi, Chris. Hello. Hello. Um, you, this time, this is one of your first times really pulling double duty as both executive producer of the show, star of the show. You're so good in the show. Um, how did you come? Yes, make some noise. How did you come to the decision to, to do both and tackle that? Uh, well, I guess I've always wanted to produce, you know, as an actor, uh, you're, you become pretty used to not having any power, strangely. So it was nice to be listened to contractually. You know, producer, you have to delineate what, what the hell you're doing, I think. Producer can mean, mean many things, and I think if I were to, 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 to describe what I'm about in that, that role, I like story, I like character, I think I know both pretty well, having been in the business for a while. I like collaborating, I like shooting ideas back and forth. Um, it uses a part of my brain that I don't always get to do as an actor, so that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys check out this show. If you wanna check out the trailer, that will be linked below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and you'd like to see more tours of things like this. This really inspired me to do 
some stuff outside of my little office here. But that's it for me today, guys. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you, TNT, for sponsoring this video, by the way, and this whole series. It has been a great opportunity for me and really, really fun. And that is it for me today, guys. I will see you in my next video.